Don't worry, be happy. This phrase, don't worry, be happy, came from the Indian guru, Meghal Baba. I thought it was a pretty neat philosophy in just four words. And hence, I am presenting this video. Many people doubt whether to be or not to be happy now. They postpone being happy for later years. They feel guilty to be happy now. At times it looks each of us vigorously and vehemently refuses to absorb in a better way of living. One whole life is spent in search of happiness, whereas it is well entrenched within. An all-time solution to do away this propensity towards stress is, so what? Stay happy because when you worry, you double the trouble. Unfortunately, human beings have a tendency to ignore the simple and crave for complex. It ends up in compromises as synthetic happiness becomes the norm. While actual bliss is relegated to just a matter of philosophy to be discussed and debated, we will go into the Chinjan video. The question is, what constitutes happiness? To be frank, to each his own. Happiness can come from anywhere, for anyone. The point is, to make it a daily habit, to tide over tensions. This is the most tantalizing zone, as material pleasures get readily mixed with the idea of actual happiness. And then comes the stress part as one gets badly entangled in the maze of pseudo-happiness. The simple solution again is enjoy the present. The past is gone and nobody knows the future. When you smell the rose, don't complain over the thorns. That's then basic philosophy of happiness. Yet, as a matter of dirty habit, simple pleasures are sacrificed each day, all in the search of bigger and unknown happiness. The happiness always resides around us in the little gifts bestowed on us by the God and nature. It is in the rising sun, it is in the cool breeze, it is the early chirping of birds, it is in the first sip of hot tea, it is in the smell of a book, it is in the aroma of the brew. Happiness, in essence, is a state of mind. And the key is, in manifesting it out, to make it a guiding principle. A jazz artist, Bobby McFerrin has won the Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Song of the Year in 1989. His lines are really punchy, however silly it might look. Don't worry, be happy. Has become instant viral. Listen to him and dance.
What he sings is, don't worry, even if the heaven falls down. The following video clipping is, much more powerful, and waking you up, advising you to stop wasting your time, by postponing your happiness, for something bigger. He tells it like it is. Please watch it till end. Do you know what else happens Monday at 8? That is the same day and time people get ready to go into jobs. They hate. Coincidence? I don't think so. Take a look at this chart. This is the lifespan of the average person. On average, we live about 80 years. If we're lucky, we start working at about 18, and we work, 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 and retire at about 67. Now what does this tell you? That for better or for worse, the majority of your life will be spent at work. Do not spend that time unhappy. <laughs> like my friend Jay. See, Jay would always say, when I finish school, then I'll be happy. Well, Jay finished school, but he wasn't happy. So then Jay said, when I get a job, then I'll be happy. Jay got a job, but he still wasn't happy. So Jay said, when I get married, settle down, and have kids, then I'll be happy. Well, he got married, settled down, had two kids, but still wasn't happy. So then Jay said, okay, when the kids leave home and I retire, then I'll be happy. Well, the kids left home and he retired, but he still wasn't happy. So Jay started going to church. And I asked Jay why he was going to church so much. And he said, because when I die, then I'll be happy. Jay's story, however sad, is not unique. I could have replaced Jay with Johnny or Bonnie. In fact, Jay's initials stand for just about everybody. But it is not our fault. We have been tricked to stay stuck in jobs that are literally making us sick and to be and then people. <laughs> you know about the and then people, right? It is people who constantly say, and then I'll be happy. Oh, and hey, I almost forgot the biggest lie. Keep a work-life balance. Work-life balance? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Shouldn't life come before work? Because when your life is better, your work is better? But don't take my opinion. Harvard professor Sean Acor recently discovered something fantastic, which he calls the happiness advantage. But how happy you are. His research is decisive. He says when you're happy, your intelligence rises, creativity rises, your productivity rises. <laughs> and you know what else is funny? You also make more money. But here's the real kicker. You live longer too. I, I know, it sounds too good to be true, but yes, optimists actually live longer than pessimists. So you could stretch this graph a few extra years if this time here is filled with more joy and cheer. Let me be clear, do not take this message lightly. It is your duty to be happy for your own sake. I don't care if you're here, at the end, it is never too late to trade in your deadly hood for a livelihood. And I believe people have low vital signs because they are involved in work that is not vital to them. My friends, happiness is a choice, but anyone who says it's easy has lied. It ain't easy, but you have to try. The first step is to look inside and remember the quote that the Buddha wrote 2,000 years ago, which I believe today for most people still applies. The problem is, you think you have time. Stop wasting your life. Oh, what a message. It is truer than the truth. It's more telling because he is advising from the hospital bed. The message has a depth, truth, sincerity and seriousness. We cannot afford to ignore the message. 
Life worth balance cannot be explained more clearly than this. I am sure this video is unputdownable to watch in groups. Rich Dad is proud to bring you such useful message periodically to your introspection. Thanks for watching the video. Please continue the support.